Good morning guys, Yavuz here. Today I will show you how to convert my Home Depot Roman shades into motorized rollers uh, with a remote control. So we have three shades in our bedroom, uh, which are the custom shades, Roman shades from Home Depot. As you can see, they come without any mechanism at all. So it's just plain cords coming from the cord lock and going down. Apparently these cord locks are also not in good quality. Uh, so I have three of those. I mean, uh, I'm planning to motorize them using the roller blade motors from Roller Troll. Uh, I decided I could do three separate motors, but it would be, first of all, expensive secondly uh, we always move them up and down at the same time so i'm planning to do a whole uh, uh, emt conduit pipe uh, and use just one 12 pounds motor from roller troll uh, to lift these up uh, and down the plan is either to use a battery pack 12 volt battery pack which in theory I should be charging around in every six months or I will connect outside of the house a solar panel, small solar panel uh, with an internal battery on it. Uh, the motors are advertised to draw only uh, 820 milliamps so a one amp solar module uh, with sufficient uh, battery in it uh, should be more than this enough. This is a inch and quarter EMT conduit from Home Depot. They are sold in lengths of 10 feet. So my three shades uh, were around nine feet. The thing is you don't need to cover it from end to end because it will just needs to catch the first rope and the last rope on your first uh, shade. Uh, but mine is almost like uh, the frame length so I measured the window frames and I cut it into the size of nine feet uh, and of course this will be going uniformly up to the end so there should not be anything blocking it on the way these cord locks will be removed those hooks will also be removed and I'm planning to tie each and every cord which is two cords per shade to this roller with a screw so that once it rolls it will lift up the shades uh, the reason i am doing this conversion is the quality of the fabric is great it's been two years and it's still standing the sun and also uh, the color is nice so i don't want to really buy brand new motorized shades instead i will be uh, using this setup to modify next this. step is uh, I put a straight line over the pipe with a permanent marker and I measured the distances of the cords starting from the right uh, as a reference point and then marking each of them on the pipe so it's important to be as accurate as possible once you do your measurements and markings Please took your pipe back uh, to your shade and verify that you measured it correctly because I made small changes here after I uh, placed it on the shades and so that my measurements were a little bit off and I got these self drilling screws they are tiny ones uh, 3 eighths of an inch and I started putting these into the pipe the thought process is that once I put this pipe on I will tie the ropes cords to these small screws I will tighten them maybe I will also tape them so that the cords do not come loose and once the motor starts rolling this pipe uh, these screws will pull the cords and they, the pipe will operate as a pulley 
just to wrap the cords to move the shades up. Here is our kit from Motor Troll. It shipped from Canada and arrived in a week. So this is a 12 pound lift motor um, series G. I believe they are working on series P now. Uh, it comes with this end bracket. This is the motor side bracket, which will be inserted here. It comes with a power adapter and then a power connector with bare wire wires on it. Um, I connected the striped wire black and white to minus and the other one to plus. Apparently I need to fix this connection because I did it quickly to show you. What I did is also to buy another 12 volt portable battery from Amazon. So you can find the link in the description uh, uh, according to my calculations so this should be more than enough for six months because if you operate this twice a day most probably it will consume something like five watts and the standby power is around half watts a day and i believe this is uh, quite enough for this uh, it's around 66 watts in it so there should be enough power uh, to use this for a long time this is rechargeable it also comes with this cable and also a charging adapter the good thing is that this cable perfectly fit what came from polar troll so if you set the polarity is right and if you plug this in it will then turn this on and I fixed the connector now and I also taped it so once I just put this in and turn the battery on this should start working what I did is to call to program the remote the instructions are given on their website but mainly you bring this to channel 1 and then you press the setting button on the motor and then you press this button with a needle or with something with a tip once you hear the beep you press this again you hear another beep and then you press either up or down button which will be followed by six beeps from the motor that means it's ready to operate so when i move it up it moves and then i can stop it it's always better to test it before you put it up to your this driver gear fits into this emt pipe very tightly so that's a good fit however still i would like to drill a few holes here and put some screws in so that they will engage between these slots and it will prevent slippage inside the conduit for this reason i need to measure where exactly it stays and then i will drill my hole somewhere here and put one of these screws in and it will just stay in place it was really a very tightly. tight fit i had to push very strong and slow and finally i also tightened this screw just to hold it in place and now let's see as you can see it's just working fine this is the other end bracket so this will go to the other end of the pipe it will be again a tight fit So this end, dummy end, is also inserted now. What I would like to do is, using this bracket, which will be locked here, I will measure the distance between the first rope, which is here, and this one. That will give me the... the, the distance between the first rope and where to drill and install this bracket Next on my step is 
to strengthen the brackets holding these shades in place because we will have a heavy pipe coming in and then I'm just untying the ropes one by one removing the uh, cord locks and setting them free so that I can put the you can see now the right hand bracket is installed and I was wrapping these cords I was connecting these cords to the screws I installed and tightening the screws down one problem was this screw the first one which is overlapping with the motor was too long so it was touching the motor preventing its movement so I had to shorten it a bit and I put a washer under it so it doesn't touch anymore. So you can see all the ropes all the way down are connected and rolling the other end the pipe. of the pipe uh, with the dummy plug and also the bracket which can lock itself after you put this on. So you need to do minor adjustments, fine tuning because you cannot tie all the cords to the same height and then once you are done with it you can just loosen the screws a bit and adjust a few inches up and down uh, your cords so that the shades will be flat and equalized so I also installed the battery pack I hid it behind this curtain I built a holster here from moldable plastic you can check my other videos to see how they are done you can do whatever you want from moldable plastic by using hot water so this battery is again advertised as 66 watts when you check the reviews I think it can give around 50 watts maximum but according to my calculations if you operate this curtain or shades twice in a day it would consume something between five and six watts every month so it should be enough at least three four months if not five six months so now let's see how it works here's our remote you can by the way adjust the travel checking the manual from roller troll uh, so you can make it automatic to stop wherever you want up and down and you can also set up a middle point for this stop switch so if you press it then it can automatically stop somewhere halfway so now pressing that looks pretty cool doesn't it? Thank you for watching.